So the service that I will be demonstrating is AWS Fault Injection Simulator. It is a process of testing distributed computing system to ensure that it can withstand with unexpected disruptions. Uh, to put it simpler, it is basically deliberately putting unexpected conditions to see how the system reacts. And according to that, we can discover the additional monitoring and alarming that it will require. So now, now in FIS, we need uh, EC2 instance on which I will be performing the testing, a CloudWatch log, which will receive the experiment log data, a key pair, I am user having permission of accessing EC2 instance. So starting with creating the EC2 instance, I've already have one, now I'm going to create one more. I'm going to create a launch instance. Mm -hmm. Give it a name. I've already created a key, key pair, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to keep the network setting as it is and click on launch instance. Now you can see there are two instances. It will turn into running after some time. Meanwhile, uh, as I said, we also need a IAM user. So I have created a policy already. So this policy basically have access on all EC2 uh, actions that we need uh, to perform. Mm. So if we go to JSON, this all you can see <coughs> all the actions that we need allow these are all the actions so i've already created the policy uh, this is the fis role that i've created and i've added that policy uh, custom policy into the into that role and this is the trust relationships So coming back to our EC2, now you can see both the instances are running. Now, as I said, we also need a CloudWatch log. So I'm going to create one. Just create on create. Oh, so just click on create. Now search for AWS FIS. Click on create experiment template. Give it a name. Click on add action. Uh, so this is where we select the EC2 instance on which we have to perform the action. So I'm just going to give this a name. Uh, so, action type. Uh, so, the action that I'll be performing is stop EC2 instance. So, where I have to Now I'm going to keep the start instance after duration as one minute. So after one minute, uh, the instance will start running again after I've stopped it. Now click on save. Click on edit. Give it a name. Uh, now if you have more than uh, one instance in in our case, we do have uh, two instances running. So you can uh, select whichever uh, whichever resource ID or the instance that you want to uh, the you want to test. So in this, so I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to select the first one, and in the selection mode, if you have again more than one instances, then uh, you can choose if you want to perform 
uh, these actions on all the instances or you have to uh, only do it on the in like some of the instances so in my case i'm just going to select all and click on save we have already created the iron rule so let's select that mm, we have made the uh, cloudwatch log so click on it now go to the cloudwatch click uh, copy this arn link and paste it here now click on create experiment template now it will be su successfully created now we can see okay mm. And now we have created a template and you can see there will be these two instances are running fine and if you have uh, deployed an application on any of these uh, EC2 instances then the application would also run fine. You can see it's in the running state. Now we have to start this experiment. So click on start experiment. The state is initiating, we, we can still see the try one instance that we selected there, it's still running. It's still in the initiating state. The moment it turns into running, let's see what happens. As the state changes, we can see there are the EC2 instance that we selected, it, it has stopped running. Now, after a minute, it will again start running. Now you can see it has again uh, the, the instance state is back to running and the experiment is completed. So this way you can see if uh, unexpected condition uh, happens and this is how the EC2 instance will react and according to that we can add any alarming uh, if required. Yes.